Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sword, the Isle of Armor. I'm Nye. It is now daytime. Uh, nope, come here, Chansey. I don't know if we have a Chansey yet, but I wasn't going to let this run away. Okay, the sunlight is harsh, which makes sense. It is daytime. We're going to finally get to do some stuff. We're going to evolve that Fomantis. Uh, I'm very much hoping that this Chansey uh, is worth... You know, a bunch of experience the way Chansey typically are. Because then that will make that Fomantis level up. But yeah, welcome back. We're going to be catching a bunch of Pokemon as we go. How on earth did you not get caught? We're going to be catching a bunch of Pokemon as we go. We're going to be pushing the storyline of Isle of Armor. Uh, as kind of always, uh, my intention is to uh, catch absolutely everything we see. We're going to completely fill out the Pokedex as we advance. Can you just... No, don't heal yourself. Why are you being a jerk? We're going to completely catch everything we see. So that's going to be one of our major uh, plans here. Uh, is to catch it all and then also complete the storyline. Uh, eventually we'll move on to the, uh, to the Crown Tundra. But I absolutely want to uh, complete my Pokedex as we go. There we go. There's the Chansey. So should be a ton of experience. Definitely a ton. Unfortunately, not enough uh, to move Fomantis along. So I think we're going to go ahead and just use another candy on Fomantis. This is Chansey, the egg Pokemon. The egg Chansey carries is not only delicious, but also packed with nutrition. It's used as a high-class cooking ingredient. I'm amazed that Chansey never gets really pissed at us for, for uh, cooking with its eggs. Uh, so let's go ahead and use a rare candy on Fomantis, which will evolve the Fomantis. Then we'll have two slots to fill up. We'll have the uh, Fomanta slot, and then we have the Lycan Rock slot. Now, I mean, when we catch the next Lycan Rock, we're just going to immediately level it up, and uh, we'll get the day uh, version. Here's Fomantis evolving into Lurantis. This Pokemon resembles a beautiful flower. A properly raised Lurantis will have gorgeous, brilliant colors. Apparently, I raised mine properly, right? You want Petal Blizzard? You know what? Why not? Uh, let's do that as opposed to Synthesis. Got a pretty interesting moveset right off the bat. I love that it has, like, striped pants for legs. Anything else interesting I need to look at? Uh, let's go ahead and catch the Jiggly. We need another one. I'm curious if I have Moonstones. I very like I very well might have a moonstone on me. Uh we did like I picked up an absolute ton of stones uh when I was doing catching and stuff like that because there's a there's a spot in uh base Pokemon Sword and Shield uh where there's a bunch of these rocks sticking out and it's where the evolutions will kind of naturally be setting setting around. Uh and uh every single day that spot has uh you know Elemental stones that will respawn. So there is a chance that I have a moonstone just kind of sitting there. We'll find that out. We'll swap Jiggly in. That Mimikyu just keeps getting stronger. That Mimikyu is going to be glorious. We'll add the Jiggly to my party in place of Lorantis. And let's go take a look, see what we got. There's a Moonstone. Oh, I have a ton. I have a ton of Moonstones. God, we're just going to be filling up this uh, this Pokedex so fast. Just rapid fire. Fill, fill, fill. Let's go. And there's the Wigglytuff. Okay. The more air it takes in, the more it inflates. If opponents catch it in a bad mood, it will flate itself to an enormous size to intimidate them. You know what? I'm already intimidated by uh, by Jiggly, so I'm not. Ooh, hey. Hi, come on. I got a speed run to do with you. Let's go. Yeah, I'm already, like, you know, immediately uh, scared of Jiggly. Start me using Harden. What is this nonsense? 
You with your, your, your high special and using Harden? Okay, you're going to be doing that. Sacred Sword, let's go. If, if you're if you're going to be doing this, I'm just going to beat the crap out of you. We're just going to beat you down. Please don't die, though. That would suck. Okay, cool. Got a Starmie. Not going to be going into my inventory. Not going to be going into my party because Starmie is already fully evolved, at least as far as I'm aware. Maybe there's a new evolution of it. Somehow I doubt it. And there's a Starmie. This Pokemon has an organ known as its core. The organ glows in seven colors when Starmie is unleashing its potent psychic powers. Actually, I'm kind of curious if we uh, if we actually go and bring Starmie into our uh, into our party if using hi hello nope. Do I already have? I'm betting you I already have an Abra. Uh, can I? I search. There a search option. Sort. Yeah, sort by A to Z. That's probably going to be the easiest way to do this. We have Abra? We do not. Since when does Abra come straight to you? What is this nonsense? Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any way to stop it from just immediately teleporting. So we're just going to YOLO ball this. That's crit cap. Okay. I have always loved Abracadabra and Alakazam. They are some of my favorite pokes. Partially because I just love how it looks. Like, Abra looks fantastic. This Pokemon uses its psychic powers while it sleeps. The contents of Abra's dreams affect the powers that the Pokemon wields. Uh, Abra's going to be added because Kadabra, at the very least, unless something has changed, uh, is a uh, level-up evolution. That being said, I am wondering how we're going to get uh, Alakazam. Now, what I am kind of curious of, do how about Buneary? Is Buneary in my decks already? I am not seeing a Buneary. Cool. Are you? I thought it was, but you know, there, there are some other Pokemon that have the the bunny look to them. Uh, there is the uh, I know you know what I'm thinking of um whatever whatever the the the, the bulldoze uh bunny thing is that you see immediately upon entering the wild zone for the first time. That's the bunny I'm thinking of. Healing wish? Can you not? Okay, we're going to have to stop catching soon, actually, because we're running out of false swipes. So that will make perfect sense. So we'll go until we run out of false swipes, and once we do, we'll kind of advance. That's absolutely fine. Okay. Both the bunny's ears are rolled up. Something is wrong with his body or mind. It's a sure sign the Pokemon is in need of care. Good to know. Oh, I should have actually added that to my party because that thing needs to level up. Uh, Wigglytuff, I need you to be swapped out. Why are you guys... Oh, uh, this is annoying. You guys should not be here. We should be in... This box. We are in this box. Why did it add stuff to box one? Shouldn't be here either. Hold up. Uh, okay, so Corviknight is 78. I, I gotta go check, because this is gonna bother me if they're in the wrong boxes. Oh, no, not 78. Corviknight is number two. So, 23 is good. Inteleon is good. Uh, and the MQ is number 301. Yeah, I thought so. 
Okay. There's another tentacle right here somewhere. The slowpoke we caught. Where's the other tentacle? I caught another tentacle. I know I did. Where did it go? I do this. It just helps me know what I have to do still. You're fine there. You go there. Now, you're... This goes here. Yes, yes, yes. Cool. Where is this other tentacle? Uh, why to search? There it is. You don't belong there, sir. We'll evolve you later. Okay, anything else to care about? What is this? That is another Bunyary. Okay, nope, that's another Fomantis. Okay, I don't need you. Okay, I think this is a good time to move on. Now I'm seeing that a Lycanroc with own tempo was event only. Maybe I'm not going to be able to get that version. Yeah, I see another Jigglypuff. There's another Bunyary. I guess I might as well pick up this Bunyary. I know I need one. The only downside to doing the living decks as I do is just you gotta, you know, gradually catch a little bit of everything, right? You gotta catch at least one of everything, but then when there's, you know, uh, you know, when you have the pre evolutions, you gotta catch those. When you catch the post evolution, God, you gotta breathe them up. Like, it's just. It can be an issue. There we go. And Bunnery goes away. Cool. Okay, let's go ahead and move on. Now, are you. I need to. One thing I want to do is I do want to connect. I want to, I want to see you know what people are doing. I'm kind of tired of that little left hand side thing being empty, being only me. Okay, now let's go ahead and swap. Uh, uh, not what I wanted. I'm so I'm still remembering all the controls. It's been it's been a while. Swap Inteleon to the front and then uh, my friend. You look like a battle. Oh my gosh, saw the most awesome Pokemon ever. I can show you its awesome Pokedex entry for just 100 watts, sure. You're going to show me Pitzer. Okay, cool. Is that not completely, totally awesome? You'll find different Pokemon depending on the weather, so make sure to search every day. Okay, well, good to know. Hello, Fletchender. This, no, this is Fletchling. No, this is Fletchender. Okay, I got it, I got it right the first time. Would you look at that? Uh, Inteleon, how much are you going to kill this thing? Oh, I think it's still faster. Fine. Try again? Are you just not going to... Yep, thought so. I couldn't really use, uh... Age of Slash for that one, unfortunately, because Age of Slash would have just gotten killed. Yeah, well, we, we've seen Fletchender. It's fine. Okay, let's go say hi. There, was there not a person over here at the, at some point? Okay, what's in here? Uh, that is an Azumarill. Um, I'm going to go ahead and invite others. Let's kind of see. I don't really want Inteleon to be in here. We're going to go ahead and pull out the uh, Corp Knight. 
we'll, we'll give it we'll give it a couple you know maybe a minute if anybody wants to join uh because it's a five star and i don't want to deal with uh npcs if i can help it you know what? i don't care let's go I am kind of curious if this if there's actually going to be like a Dynamax of this thing. Nope, it's or not, not Dynamax. It is Dynamax. I was going to see if there was Gigantamax, but it is going to be an Azumarill. It's going to be huge. Uh, cool. Let's do it. So we have a Wishy Washy. The water and water is not going to help. A Magikarp and a Togepi. Oh, we have terrible partners. Okay, so it's definitely shielded up. We got our smirk. Let's go ahead and Dynamax up. Uh, let's see. I don't have anything huge to do to it, unfortunately. Let's race ally defensive stats. I think I think Azumarill is a special defense Pokemon. Man, I kind of missed this animation. Fortunately, we do not have a Gigantamax Corviknight. I kind of wish we did. It would be too cool to do this. Okay, let's knock you down to, down to size. Hydro Pump is solid. Not very effective, but... Ooh. What's happened? Miss swirling. The swift. I mean, everybody is, uh. Everybody's doing their job. Ooh, that's bad. Okay, let's steal spike again. That way we can make sure we don't have to worry about that. Got just a little bit of damage. That's cool. There goes the shield. Defense falls. That's right, guys. Hit it. No! Flail is terrible. Play rough. Ooh, the wishy-washy takes a big hit. Pokemon uses life duel. My HP is full. It doesn't help us out. But it, you know, does a little bit of healing for the rest of them. Defense falling. Man, it does not want us to have defense. Let's max airstream. Speed everybody up. God, we're doing no damage to this thing. Okay, here comes the shield. Good, another Hydro Pump. I mean, they're they're not breaking the shield very well right there. Oh, it's pissed. Good thing we haven't done really any stat changes. Recoil damage. Togepi just keeping everybody alive. Hopefully it can keep itself alive. As long as Togepi keeps on doing that, I'll, I'll be reasonably happy. And that's the end of our Dynamax. We got our three turns. Did not really end up getting... A ton of stuff done. Uh, Home Claws is not going to actually do all that much, I think. So we'll go ahead and Steel Wing. The problem is it just negates shit too often. Not sure how I feel about the... No! Oh, you're not down. Okay. Yeah, you hit Corviknight all you want, dude. Corviknight can take it. These fights take so long, but I need I need this Azumarill. I do. I need the Meryl that comes from it too. So it's worth it. Got a tackle, really? Oh, and a max starfall. Okay, it's cool. The wishy washy hasn't been taken out. Critical hit though. Aqua Tail, and that's actually gonna take that Togepi out. So there's gonna be the first down. And we're not gonna be getting uh we're not gonna be getting healed anymore. Okay, I'm expecting the next shield to come up now. There we go. Good damage. Hydro Pump does nothing. Unfortunately, why, why did we get? Why did we get so unlucky as to get two uh, two water pokes against a water poke? Brian's a pretty good, a pretty solid use though. 
And Togepi comes right back out. Hopefully it'll keep on healing us. Shouldn't really matter, though. We should have this. Steel Wing should take it out. Cool. And there goes the Azumarill. And a critical hit off of that, too. A boom. Throw a Pokeball? Let's do it. What options do I have? Got a bunch of luxury balls. That's good. Quick. That. Great. Uh, let's just Ultra. Make a gigantic Pokeball. Look at that thing. Yes. The chunky Pokeball. And catch. God, that was like a 10 minute long sequence catch thing. I want to go to the storyline. Okay, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go straight up and go at least advance the storyline a little bit. I'm not going to catch anything more unless I see something really stupid rare. Not going to do anything in grass. I'll do anything that's on the path because those tend to be the wandering ones. We got a lot of good stuff, though. And we needed the Azumarill. It spends most of its time in the water. On sunny days, Azumarill floats on the surface of the water and sunbathes. How cute. Well, that was the thing that happened. You guys aren't part of anything. Oh, hello. Diglett? Hi, Diglett. Oh, Diglett, you're here. Hi. Ha, ah, you little rascal. I was worried about you. I was worried how I'd have to catch you. Dig! Thank you for finding my Diglett. Is it from Alola? Oh, I didn't expect to meet someone who knew about it. Yep. That's right. This is a Diglett from the Alola region. When I traveled in Alola, I fell in love with these adorable three hairs. Got a lot of Diglett there and came back, but they went somewhere when I looked away for a second. Anyway, you found a Diglett buried in the ground. You definitely have a talent for finding Diglett. It's okay. Will you find all the other Diglett too? Sure. What a kind person you are. Words can express how grateful I am. You found one Diglett so far. Please find 150 more Diglett. If you find them, please tell them to come back to me. Okay, so there's a, uh, there's a fetch quest. There's an exploration quest. That... Okay, I should go. Okay, well, we'll find 150 more Diglett, apparently, over the course of a while, I'm assuming. Uh, oh, there's one. Seventeen more Diglett in the fields. Okay, so it does tell you how many are actually in this area. That's appreciated. There's a low punny. Do I just want to catch that? You know what? It's a wandering poke. I did say I was going to go do wandering pokes, and it also does e uh, prevent us from having to evolve the one I have right now. So let's go ahead and grab this, and then we'll go straight to the dome. I know, I know. I'm taking a long time doing other things, I understand. But one of the, one of the points of this playthrough is to catch everything. That's irritating. Uh, yeah, I have King Shield, dude. Like, moves like Bounce don't work on me. Yep, protected myself, and your attack fell because you did that. I Jump Kick doesn't work because I am a Ghost type. And you deal a crap ton of damage to yourself, which is one of the reasons why I never use High Jump Kick. Get caught. Not a crit cap. Would have really liked it if it was, because that would have made my life easier. Cool. So there's my low punny. Don't have to deal, deal with Bunnery anymore. Good on you, Mimikyu. Uh, do I want Slash? I think I'll do it instead of Mimic. Slash tends to be pretty good. High crit chance. Gives me a non-ghost move as well to use. Lopunny is constantly monitoring its surroundings. If danger approaches, this Pokemon responds with super destructive kicks. Gonna kind of wander in this direction as well. Mostly just to see if there's any Diglett back here. 
There's an Abra. I'm not too worried about capturing any more Abra at this time. Hello. God, we're going to have to be looking for these everywhere. Since I'm thinking about it. Okay, there's none right there. We're just going to kind of swing over here onto this side. Go in there. Man, interesting. But uh, I did not see any Diglett over there. I'm assuming this is the dojo. Looks like it. That looks like a storyline of it. Hey, lady. I know you said don't come over here, but uh, screw you. Oh, fiddlesticks. So our new student decided to go back home. Seems that way. Yep. I did my best to welcome him, but he just suddenly left after our battle. And I've been hoping we get to welcome a new member to our little family here, too. Oh, why, hello. And who are you, love? Uh? Ah! Ah! Of course, she must be the new student that's supposed to join the dojo today. I am. Uh, sure? Right, 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 right. Exactly, ma'am. I swear, he must have just changed his mind about joining the dojo. But... Uh, here you are. I'm so happy you decided to come after all. Oh, everything's just coming up roses. Now, I'm quite sure they already told you, me your name, but... Uh, Nye. That's right, you're Nye. Of course you are, love. Though I'm rather sure that's not the name I was told before. My name's Honey. I help keep this place running. You can consider me the lady of the house. Not that the Master Dojo is just any old house. <laughs> Why? How? What does he think he's doing? Just showing up like that. Thank good. Miss Honey will know that I lied. Uh, you know we can hear every word you're saying, right? Seems you've already met our Clara. Bit of an odd ducklet, but she's one of our own. She's training hard here at the dozo, so she can become a gym leader someday. I can trust the two of you to get along, right? Uh, sure, if she stops lying to me. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be best friends. Oh dear, but look at me. Here I am making you stand around outside after you come all this way. Come in, come in. Don't mind the faint stench of sweat. Listen, you, if you dare tell Miss Honey about what happened at the station, I'll melt you down to size. You understand? Good luck with that, Clara. You've already proven to me that you are the weakest trainer on this island. Also, there's a thing on the roof. It's not there anymore, though, because that's how anime works. People respond to things before they actually happen. And, uh, you know, people stand around on rooftops and look. I dig it. Dig a dig, dig a dig, trio, trio, trio. This one was Danette, apparently. Fourteen more Diglett in the Fields of Honor. I'm sure we'll find them eventually. Expert Belt, an item to be held by Pokemon. It's a well-worn belt that slightly boosts the power of super effective moves. Cool. Can't go back there, apparently. Oh, hello. Got another one. What is... Why are you sparkly? Oh, found another one. Twelve more in the Fields of Honor. Uh, I should probably not go into your garden. That being said... I'm not your daddy. Call me Dada. That's kind of weird. Are you an NPC or a person? Oh. Tin of Beans. Uh, yep, that is amazing. Let's see, nothing else going on over in this worldly direction. I'm going to go inside in just a second. I just want to make sure I catch, not, or not catch, but find all the Diglett before I do. The camera's being kind of weird. Ah, there we are. Oh, a Galarka twig. A twig from a species of tree called Galarka that grows in certain areas around the Galar region. It's a material for an accessory for a certain Pokemon. Okay. And more Diglett in this area. Oh, and I see a TM. Focus Blast. That sounds useful. The user heightens its mental focus and unleashes its power. This may also lower the target's special defense stat. Sounds useful. Fomantis, I don't care. 
Why are you guys like shimmery shiny splendor? Shining shimmery splendor. I want. I don't know what it is, but I want it. I like being shiny. Okay. Into the dojo we go. Now, camera panning down from the roof to show us the surroundings. Nope. Okay. Yep, this looks like a dojo. Everybody, I have an announcement to make. We've got a new student joining us today. Please welcome Nye. I'm sure you'll all have lots to teach him. hi ya! Welcome to the dojo. All our students are so good and hardworking. Everyone really gives it their all around here. Cool. Now here's someone who's not listed in my database of students. Some... I child. Hello, sweetie pie. It's not usual for you to bother greeting a newcomer. This is Hyde, my darling only son. Why are you wearing earphones as you talk to me? Are you some kind of outlier? Here, you should give this a try. You obtained an EXP charm. Hot. A charm that increases the EXP points that Pokemon can get. A machine-like object is inside the charm. Don't open it, okay? It's got tech I developed inside, and I don't want you to go and ruin it. Hey, I like stuff that allows me to level up things faster. He's so good with his hands, always making something new. Such a clever boy. And that handsome gent in the back is my darling hubby, and the very master of this Master Jozo. Hi. Please introduce yourself. Wow, you're old. Why, hello there. My name is Mustard. I'm rather good at Pokemon battles, you know. If you say so, I'm pleased as cheese that you could join us. Nice to meet you. <laughs> such a polite student. You seem to be the hard-working type, too. I am. Don't let him fool you into thinking he's just a silly old man. He's a real beast when he gets serious. Well, darling, I'll leave the rest up to you. Oh, okay. Yay! This is my favorite part. I wanted to see just how good you are. So why not have a battle with little old me? Just say the word when you're ready. Uh, sure. Okay, let's... Do I actually have any Pokemon with me that need experience? Uh, I mean... Yes, I need to give you thing, I guess. Go all the way to the bottom. Oh, is it a is it a key item? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. So we just have an arm yeah, we just have an item that increases experience. Okay. So I don't have to give it to anybody. It's not a... But you know what I could do? Might not have a... Might not have the key item for it. But I bet you that... Somewhere in here... I have... A lucky egg. Somewhere... In here... Somewhere. Somewhere. No? That doesn't seem right. I should have a lucky egg somewhere. Did my chancy come with one? Nope. Uh, let's go ahead and search for held item, holding an item. Uh, search. You have the rusted sword. I am reasonably certain I have a lucky egg somewhere in here. I do not. Very odd. That doesn't seem right. I could have sworn I had one of those. Probably not in treasures. What TM do we get? Oh, that's right. To focus blast. Okay. Can I not? Does one of these increase experience? I don't think so, right? Prize money, yes. Okay. Well, I'm sure I'll find one at some point. Give a say. 
If there's anything you want to know about the dojo, don't hesitate to ask someone else. Why, you're so helpful. Oh, hey. What is that? <laughs> Perfect. Now it's sure to work. All that's left is fired up with the on button, so here we go. Let's push it. Why do you have a cormorant thing? Sure, does a thing. Ripes it powered down. Must still need more watts. I have watts. Does my EXP charm seem to be working as intended? I'm sure it does. What is this thing? Some sort of machine made out of junk parts to look like a Pokemon. You like it? Sure. I thought you might be the type. That's my Cram-O-Matic, and just to be clear, it's the invention of the century. My very own brilliant take on the recycling. Though it doesn't do a thing right now since it's out of power. I just had enough watts, but Mummy won't give me any more of hers. Okay. All it would take is a measly 500 watts to get the Cram-O-Matic up and running, you know? I, I can give you that. Pretty easily. Seriously? You'll give me the 500 watts I need? Sure. It'd take me ages outdoors to collect 500 watts, and the outdoors and me. Well, let's just say our systems aren't compatible. But you. Sorry, what was your name again? Nye. Nye. I guess you're more the outdoors type, huh? Sure. I'll feed those watts you gave me into the Cramomatic at once, and power on. Okay. Cram. Ah, perfect. That's perfect. Put in four items you don't need, and you'll get one new item in exchange. If you put in four of the apricorns that grow here in the Isle of Armor, then you might even get a rare Pokeball, if you're real lucky. Since you gave me the watts and all, feel free to use my Cramomatic just as much as you like. Oh, okay. Appreciate you. Anything in here? Ah, uh, restore my Pokemon. Yeah. And a free Pokemon Center just in this building. Must be tired of that truck from the station. If you're in your Pokemon ever... Okay, cool. You got anything to say? Through these doors is the battle court. Sacred ground for battle and for valor. Entering for any reason other than battle is strictly forbidden. Okay, well, appreciate you telling me. Ooh, hey, we've got a kitchen. Hopefully one of you cook. You have the scent of a powerful trainer. Uh, I am a champion. Nice to meet you. Cool. I know I'm not wearing the Dojo uniform, but I'm a student, too. They didn't have my size, if you say so. Got an XP charm from Hyde, too. Just keep it in your bag, and it'll boost the exper experience points your Pokemon earn. Nice. I want to battle Master Mustard. I'd very much like to see what your battle style is. It's called winning. Master Dojo is a strange dojo, if you ask me. We have all sorts of odd training routines, like cleaning up or even taking naps. Yep, that is strange. A lot of people hear the word dojo and think of a strict serious place, but the Master Dojo was a lot of fun. Miss Honey's food was excellent, too. Please don't make me hungry. Quick recording your progress for a battle is the first step to a safe adventure. hi -ya. Yep, save when you can. Uh, oh, that's... Okay. The Master's a kind man. Don't be afraid to show him everything you got. Cool. Uh, who am I leading with? Uh, nope, nope, nope. I want to lead with Inteleon. There we go. Okay. Am I ready for a battle? Sure. But I want to go to the sacred ground. All right, let's get the show started. This is the best way to get to know new students. It's also the best way to do literally anything in Pokemon. You are challenged by Dojo Master Mustard. Sent out me and Fu. Are you going to be an all fighting type? Because I might just have to pull out Corviknight and laugh at you. Yippee! Oh, I just can't wait to see your battle style or something. I didn't read the entire thing. Uh, Sucker Punch. Oh, and it used Fake Out. Aw, oh, man. That gonna flinch me? Ah, oh, that flinched me! We were both doing a move similar to each other. Hi, take a punch. Used Force Bomb. Now, if you paralyze me, I'm gonna be angry. Okay, Hydro Pump. We're just gonna be done with this fight. Bye. And everybody gets a bunch of experience. Well, 37 for my Mimikyu. About to send out Shinx. Uh, I really should not let this stay out against Electric type, but looks like my little old self spin something, something, something. I didn't read the entire thing. I hate that they move so fast. Why? Why just a Shinx though? Uh, we'll go ahead and U-turn. Ah, uh, Corviknight. Let's have you do some work. Yes, I know, it is electric type versus a uh, flying type, but hopefully the steel will offset that a little bit. Ow. Don't think Corviknight's just 
like, stupid strong. Hi, Steel Wing. Later. Oh, you're not dead yet? Okay. He's gonna try that again. Later. There we go. Well, that certainly was a fight that we did. Okay. We defeated this dude. That was everything I hoped for and more. We get a bunch of money. Like, a bunch of money. Everybody's so surprised. Bah ha ha ha! I lost! You're pretty strong, aren't you? Champion. Hey, the newbie won. Master wasn't going all out, but that's still pretty impressive. Who is that kid, anyway? Champion. The way you battle really shows me how much you care about your Pokemon. Even if you come because of a misunderstanding, as long as you have a will to learn. Okay, so he knows I'm not the actual. Then you're welcome at the Master Dojo. I think we can all help each other become stronger. I'm happy you come to join us. So on that note, here's your Dojo uniform. Neat. There we go. We even have a hairstyle. Okay. With that on, you'll fit right in with the students of my Master Dojo. Hey, newbie. Hi. If you want to change or just take a break, use that room over there. Right, yeah, we, we've had this discussion. Now then. Yes. With Nye here now, the dojo's at max capacity. Oh, shame for that one guy who, you know, didn't get to join then. It's time to really start our training. You'll all be facing three trials. Three trials? Yep, magic three. Wait, why is there max capacity for this dojo? Good question. And there's more. The person who completes the three trials will receive the secret armor of this dojo. Ooh, a secret set of armor. I want it. So do I. Eh, that's the spirit. Now, let me explain the first trial. But Master, you haven't given me my uniform yet. Why does that kid get a uniform but not me? It's not fair. Because you suck. Oh dear, do you really not have a uniform? My bad, my bad. That's easy to fix, though. I have another uniform right here for you, Clara. Here, here you go. Squeaky wheel gets the grease. Yeah, she's going to complain about everything, huh? Got a dojo uniform. Poke! Someone stole your uniform, huh? It's gone. Where'd my dojo uniform go? Did a slow poke just steal it? Really? At speed. Was it really the Slowpoke? Never seen the Slowpoke move so fast. Give it back, give me my Dojo uniform. Looks like the Slowpoke are not particularly interested in doing so. And they're gone. Well, sucks to be Clara. Later. Guess I'd let them out of the poke walls a little too soon. Master, what's up with those Slowpoke? This is my first trial, my students. We've all got a chase after those fast Slowpoke, trained with care by little old me. That's not all. You need to defeat them, too. And while you're at it, could you get Claire's un dojo uniform back? Do we have to? Okay. Well, apparently we're going to be going to do that, then. Bye, Master. I guess. Yeah, y'all. Good luck, y'all. Yeah, I'll, I'll be seeing y'all in a few minutes, apparently. Let me get some have to fight each and every one of them as they try to stop me from doing what I want to do. Do you want to change back into your usual clothes? Yeah. Like, the dojo uniform's cool and all, but, uh, usual clothes. All set. Time to chase down those fast slowpoke. That being said, one thing I will do is I will change the, uh, bag. Because, you know what? I, I, I dig the dojo bag. Yep, update my league card. Ooh, instantly updating league card's kind of nice. What's up, Master? Are you seriously... What are you playing? It's a game in which a lot of square Pokemon appear. I don't know this one. First trials, chase down three... Okay. Yeah. You don't want to say anything new. That's fine. All right, I guess we're going to go chase down some Slowpoke, but that's going to be it for me today, guys, because we went longer than usual. Oh, cutscene. Yeah, do I just immediately fight you, or are you guys going to run off? Nope, off they go. Back into the aisle. Okay, that's fine. So we got to chase them into wetlands, I guess. Of course they split up. Okay. Well, that's going to be it for me, guys. Uh, we'll come back next time, and we will go and chase down the Slowpoke, catch, or, uh, you know, find a bunch of Diglett, catch a bunch of Pokemon, the usual stuff. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll catch you next time.